Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney's Magic Kingdom and I am so excited because there are a bunch of new snacks in the park that I wanted to come out and try and show you, including Tiana's world famous beignets and also I'm a little sad because they changed the menu at Sleepy Hollow and they got rid of the most iconic waffle sandwich I've ever had and now they have a new menu. So I figured we'd do a little park update and I'd show you all the new food and we'd ride some rides, eat some food and have a a beautiful magic kingdom kind of day anywho's let's go do this today is a thursday so i'm hoping the park is not that busy and the temperature out right now is 93 degrees but it feels like it's 101 and i don't think we have to worry about rain so hopefully we can just make it through the heat and have a fun magic kingdom day on top of trying all the new snacks and food items in the park i also wanted to do like an overall park update video because disney announced something huge they're actually getting rid of genie plus they're changing its name to lightning lane multi-pass and it's gonna give you an option to purchase lightning lane single passes and this is a huge change it's gonna integrate uh like some of the things we loved about fast pass we're gonna be able to make lightning lane selections uh, uh, before our trips guests staying at a disney resort hotel can book lightning lane passes up to seven days in advance for their entire stay up to 14 days and all other guests can book and plan three days in advance that's like bringing back fast pass i'm so excited this is huge and i'll put a link in the description so you guys can read up on all of it especially if you're coming because it starts july 24th it starts next month I would have to say probably the biggest, coolest thing about the Genie Plus Switch is the fact that we can start getting uh, three lightning lanes and we don't have to wait times in between using the lightning lanes. So let's just like the old system where you had three and as soon as you touch in, you can just book another one. Like now with Genie Plus, you have to wait that two hour window and you have to stack them. You don't have to stack anymore. You can just book three and keep rolling all day. Now, they didn't announce anything about the prices, and I'm pretty sure the attractions are going to be like on a tier system. Uh, but, I mean, it's mainly just a big name change and then giving us the ability to securely book what we want to get. I think the biggest flaw with Genie Plus was you could buy Genie Plus and not guarantee the ride the ride that you want. And that's going to fix this, and I'm excited. I think I should probably just start making my way back to uh, Adventureland to get some of the beignets and check out the food for Tiana's. I'm sure we're going to be trying lots of snacks today because I like to order a lot of food only so that I can show you guys in case you ever plan on coming during like your summer vacation. You can see what there is to look forward to like snacks wise and also all the food for Tiana's uh, Bayou Adventure. Like I think everything's available, not just the beignets and I don't even know what they got. I'm just excited for the beignets. Wow, they got a lot more than just beignets. They've got Tiana's famous beignets for $6.99, and then they've got hot honey chicken with sweet potato fries and shrimp gumbo with sweet potato fries. And then they also have a Tiana's uh, lemonade. Oh, look at the powdered sugar mess in there. All oh, those mine? We ended up getting everything because this is all brand new. This is Tiana's Bayou Adventure food. This is Tiana's world famous beignets. And I've had these beignets before. They've sold them here at the Golden Oak Outpost before during a different food event. But uh, this one, uh, I'm excited to try it. They added honey to it with powdered sugar. And I like these beignets. I think they're really good. And then now we can try the gumbo with sweet potato fries. I've never had gumbo with sweet potato fries. That's something, un something unique, I guess, to me. And then hot honey chicken with sweet potato fries. And then the lavender uh, Tiana's lemonade. And this is so pretty looking. Look at that. I think first things first, we should try Tiana's uh, lavender lemonade. Only because I think it's going to melt so fast. It's so hot out. Ooh. Refreshing. Oh, wait. Don't... Di there's like lavender syrup at the bottom. Make sure you sip that in, because I got the lavender, and after I got the refreshing part, it wasn't that lavender-ish. Now, I want to get into the beignets. Look at this. And they got the honey on there. You get three of them. I wish I had more powdered sugar. I asked for extra powdered sugar, but they fall off. Look at the honey in there. You see the pool of honey? Here we go. 
I've already had these. I know I'm gonna love them. <laughs> and then you dip them back in that honey. Very honey forward. Love the honey. I kind of noticed that the beignets are different. Like sometimes you bite one and it's more like cakey and then more hollowy. You can actually see like a side-by-side -side comparison on the beignets. I like this version a little bit better. The beignets are good, but like for some reason they taste and like not like beignets, but delicious. Like they have something special about them, but I wouldn't compare them to like the beignets at Port Orleans or anything like that. They're definitely a little bit on the heavier and sweeter side. Uh, and I like them. Everyone else likes them too. And now I want to try some of the, the chicken and the gumbo. Like I mentioned, I'm used to gumbo with rice. I don't know if this is like something that, you know, is like normally combined. But I love gumbo. So I'm excited to try this. But look at that. Ooh, it's a little hot. I'm going to eat it with like the sweet potato fries. Kind of like how you would eat gumbo with rice. It's got some spice. I like the flavor of it, but like the the like eating it is a little difficult unless it's like gumbo like fries. Maybe I should be using a fork for this and you're just using the gumbo kind of like you would chili on fries. Maybe that's the way or maybe you could just do it like this. I mean, it's still pretty like like chunky. You got some shrimp in there, some sausage, a lot. So, it's a little hard to eat. You got to figure out either spoon uh, if you're grabbing it with your fingers or if you're eating it with a fork. Now we just get some chicken tenders with some hot honey on it. These are easy. And it's just like, you know, it's just Disney chicken tenders. They got oh jalapenos on there. Oh boy, they got some peppers. This might be spicy. They got some peppers. The sweet potato fries are just your regular sweet potato fries. But now for the chicken. And like I said, it's got some peppers on there, so it's probably going to be hot. Honestly, the beignets are the best thing out of everything. I mean, they don't... Like it's not it doesn't taste bad, but it's just like just plain and ordinary That's like your regular Disney chicken nuggets the same gumbo I feel like I've had before with a little shrimp in and sweet potato fries the peppers are not too spicy The chicken's not too spicy. So I mean one thing you don't want to miss out on is the beignets And I would get this lavender lemonade again But like I said, you got to be careful with that at the bottom there because I got that first sip and it was just straight syrup Never want one of that Overall, I don't think this is like a permanent like food uh, for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I think this is just a temporary location because they're only working with what space they have inside the Golden Oak Outpost. It's not that big in there. They probably got like three fryers. Uh, and like I said, it's just like kind of like putting together like regular Disney chicken nuggets with sweet potato fries and adding some toppings. So I'd be sad if this is the only food that would come out of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And I don't think it is. I think they're going to announce a lot more when we get closer to D23. And uh, yeah, don't forget, you got to check out the beignets though because I think those are pretty good. They're definitely worth it. Honestly, Frontierland looks abandoned at this point. The shooting gallery is closed forever now. They're going to put in a DVC lounge there. You have these shops open and the Country Bear Jamboree still closed. So the only thing you have is just the Frontier Trading Post over here in Pecos Bills. Well, enough of the beignet business. I think we're going to leave Frontierland, make our way maybe over to Tomorrowland or Fantasyland. I'd love to get on a ride. You know, I wouldn't mind riding Winnie the Pooh or Tron. I mean, I don't think I can do Tron. I wonder if, the, I mean, the park seems pretty slow today. I wonder if there's even a virtual queue available. I didn't even look. It looks like all the virtual queues for Tron are gone. Oh, wait. No, they're not. Look at them. Joining the virtual queue right now at 454. Holy moly. Wow, I guess I could ride Tron today. <laughs> I love that. It is almost 5 p.m. I just joined the virtual queue for Tron and got my boating group called. I can just go ride Tron right now. They need to get rid of the virtual queue system. I mean, it's, I mean, it's June. Like, how could that happen? I would have never thought. I literally, I thought I was going to show you like, oh, yep, it's all gone, but they have a lightning lane. But no, I just joined the virtual queue now. That blows my mind. And I don't know what they're doing with Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I mean, I don't think they should do a virtual queue at all when that opens like fully. I, honestly, I think most people would just wait it out. It looks like we're riding Tron maybe later, unless we get some rain. But since we're over here, I think it's time to address the Sleepy Hollow situation. They got rid of my favorite waffle sandwich. 
they used to have like uh, uh, waffle sandwiches here that they would have fresh fruit and then they had a chicken and waffle sandwich and I used to get them all the time I used to love coming here getting a funnel cake little waffle sandwich but now they kind of like changed it they just have Mickey waffles with things on top of them no more sandwiches just uh, like you get a waffle with two chicken tenders, a drizzle of uh, sweet and spicy sauce. But the chocolate hazelnut uh, banana whipped cream waffle does look good. Especially if they drizzle it like that. And uh, this is like a berries. It's just literally waffles on top. I mean, I, mean, I, I understand it's kind of the same. I mean, they did switch the chicken on that, I think. But it, it's not the same. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I know I said I wasn't going to get any more food, but I ended up getting the fruit Mickey waffle. And I'm sad because it's not fresh fruit. Well, it kind of is. They gave me like one strawberry and then a scoop of like strawberry compo, fresh blueberries, and then I think another berry there. Uh, but I mean, it still looks really cool, actually. I like it. I like the way it looks. I feel like we've been eating so many Mickey shaped things today. Like I said before, it's very airy, and that's not always good with a waffle or some waffle that has to hold like strawberry compo or whipped cream. And the thunder rolls, boom, boom, boom. And the thunder rolls. Sorry, I was eating a waffle. But, but back to the waffle business. <laughs> it's not good to have it airy like that because it makes it soggy. And you know, no one's got time for soggy waffles. Look at. I can already see it where that compo is. They should add more fresh fruit, less compo, and it would be good. But it, either way, I like it now. My friend Kristen, right down Main Street, another fan of the waffle sandwich who is disappointed. She came out and she wants to try the waffles. You were heartbroken, weren't you? I came out specifically for this. I think the fruit waffle and the chicken waffle were hands down the two best things to eat in Magic Kingdom. And to see them gone is crazy to me. I don't know. It was like my know. only go-to snack. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what they were thinking with this one. I yeah. I have no. I have no words. <laughs> but everything's Mickey now, you know. And you get chicken tenders instead of. It's it's crazy because I said in a video not too long ago that they should serve Mickey waffles all day long in Magic Kingdom. Yeah, but not so get rid of listen. them. Yeah, I, I, I said they should serve them, but I didn't say they should get rid of the sandwich. Like I said before, in order to have like a waffle with a bunch of stuff on it, you gotta have like a strong batter that's not so airy uh, because then it's just gonna be a soggy waffle. Soggy bottom boys, soggy waffles. Nobody wants soggy bottom boys or soggy waffles. No one's got time for soggy soggy. I think we're going to move along from the waffle sandwich at Sleepy Hollow subject only because I'm going to miss them. But I, overall, I love that waffle. <laughs> and now uh, I guess we'll make our way down to Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. We have our virtual queue return time for uh, uh, Tron so we can just go and get in the standby line. How crazy is that? I ended up walking through Storybook Circus and going to the like under underground way into Tomorrowland and this is uh, a faster way to get up to Tron but I'm hoping that the storm stays away or honestly I hope I just get on before the storm oh here it comes wow I'm excited it's time to head in. You have to put your stuff away in the locker, so I'm going to switch over to a POV, and then we'll uh, pick it up right afterwards. Hopefully no rain. But I can't wait to like feel like just the feel of that first push. Woo! I hope that didn't make you dizzy. <laughs>
was so much fun. I needed that. A nice little rush of adrenaline. And now I'm feeling, I'm feeling up. I'm feeling great. And the weather is kind of holding back. It looks like the sun is peeking out more and more. So I think we're going to keep on going. Keep enjoying the day. But Tron was great. Would you just look at that? The sun is so bright now. The people mover is almost blending in with the sky. Man, I love Tomorrowland. That's one thing I wish they would announce at D23. Let's see some more things added to Tomorrowland. Let's see some love over here. We need some love in Tomorrowland. I mean, we did just get Tron, but that ride has been around for years and it took a long time to get built. I mean, I want something like Tomorrowlandish here, like something so far off into the future, it's inconceivable, you know? I mean, you can tell people love Tomorrowland. Look at look at all the people lining up for the people mover. I was gonna hop in line, but it's a pretty long line. In my last video, I asked if you guys wanted to do uh, like a Q&A with me. And I wanted to answer some people's questions about what it's like to uh, be a YouTuber or, you know, do social media for a living. And, you know, like a nice little lighthearted, you know, Q&A. Talk about, you know why I love living in Florida, going to the parks, being a Disney fan and sharing my experiences. Like this whole life has been incredible and it's been so amazing. And sometimes I just feel like I get in like that tunnel like mode. And uh, I said it in the last video, I wish I could just tell you guys everything and I wish I could show you guys everything. So I thought it'd be cool to, you know, make a little video. So if anyone's out there who wants to, you know, maybe possibly start thinking about getting into social media, uh, you know, if you have any questions leave some comments and you know I want to make a little video doing like a you know Q&A and talking about the pros and the cons and things that you get to experience like I said this is I'm, I'm living my best life and I absolutely love every single day that I get to do this so you know I just want to you know share my experiences with anyone so if you have any questions leave them in the comments for me and uh, I'll start working on that video and post it uh, whenever I can get it finished because I want to make sure I take time and really put some thought and effort into it and, you know, be proud and be happy about it. <laughs> I keep walking around the Magic Kingdom because I'm worried that the rain is going to come because the clouds keep rolling in dark, but then it just stays sun, like it's sunshine out. So I think maybe we'll uh, make our way out of the park and over to the Grand Floridian. Oh boy, I think we're starting to get a sun shower. I feel the raindrops coming. I literally just was talking about how the weather is so unpredictable and how it was beautiful and I thought we were good to go for the day. And now it's pouring and we're in the Emporium trying to duck out of the rain. At least we get to look at some of the merch and look at this. I wish I could wear something like this. I mean, no, I probably won't, but how awesome is that? I love that. They need to make like a dark blue version. I would definitely get it. What else they got here? Now I got me looking. This is all the girls section though. I was hoping the rain would stop by the time we got out of the Emporium, but it looks like it's just coming down more. You can smell the rain. Oh, it, smells, it smells so damp. And it right? Smells so damp too. Oh. You can smell the rain. I bet you there'll be a rainbow soon. I'm glad I made the executive decision to leave. I think we're gonna go over to the Grand Floridian, like I said, and go to Narcoosies. Maybe take the boat if the rain is like not too bad, because then we can catch the rainbow like I'm looking out for. You know, because like, usually there's a rainbow after the rainstorm. Hey, how are ya? Nate, you rock, man. We love your soap. Thanks, dude. We love yours sir. too. We love you. Aww. I think we might take the boat take the boat over to the Grand Floridian. I usually would want to take the monorail, but then you have to do a full lap. Full lap on the monorail. Oh, speak of the monorail. Speak of the monorail. <laughs> it looks like monorail uh, silver there. Riding off into the storm. Riders on a storm. I knew you were going to start <laughs> <laughs> 
Narcoosie's is this really nice restaurant on the water. And uh, my friend Kristen said they have a new espresso martini and she wants to go over and try it. And I like to go over there and just hang out for the views. And uh, at least we know we won't be in the rain. And like I said, it's a beautiful view. It's right out on Seven Seas Lagoon. And yeah, we'll hang out there and then probably call it a night from the Grand Floridian. The heat is definitely getting to me again today. I keep on thinking I can like go long hours in the park, but it gets so hot and humid. I get so steamy. It's a breezy boat ride. Ooh, I was gonna say maybe we could sit in the front. <laughs> Watch that, please. Thank you. Wow. The boat ride sometimes is just so cool. You can hear the train, the monorails going by. We're sitting up in the front here. This is cozy. And the storm might not happen. I don't know. I can't tell. Isn't this the life, Kristen? Living the life. I felt the raindrop. <laughs> We're going to be docking right here at Narcoosie's. That's the restaurant itself. How convenient. Anytime I get the chance to come visit the Grand Floridian, I just get so excited. I love walking around this resort. Just the beautiful look of the Victorian style like buildings. And it all reminds me of the Dell. This is what this uh, hotel, uh, this the Grand Floridian was inspired by the uh, Dell in San Diego. And it looks just like it, but on a grander scale. Now, Narcoosie's recently went through a renovation, and I kind of missed the old layout with the bar that was like the lounge when it was down low. Uh, but I'll show you how it is now, and like I said, we'll just hang out for a little bit. Maybe get a, maybe a, a little bite to eat. It's been a long day, but it's been a long day of eating. Here is the restaurant, and like I mentioned before, they have like a bar. You don't need a reservation. You can just come and grab a seat here, and it used to be like the bartenders were down low, but I like how that the ceilings go up high. It goes all the way up, and you can actually sit in here, and you can uh, watch Happily Ever After. You can see the castle is uh, probably right here. I'll try to light it up for you. Oh yeah, castle's right there. Wow, Kristen, you weren't kidding. This is really fancy. Cheers. I, I don't joke around about my espresso martinis, Nate. I <laughs> Look at this. Look at on the top of it. What, what is that? A corn chip or something? Guess what it is. Guess what it is. What is it? A vanilla wafer? A Parmesan crisp. A Parmesan crisp? <laughs> on the espresso martini? Yeah, that was my reaction. <laughs> Winers on the glass at the Alana Club? Parmesan crisp. He said you have to take a bite and a sip with everything. delicious. I don't taste any like alcohol in it. It's a good espresso martini. Oh, especially with that on top. You got to get it. You got to get some of the foam. That's where it's at. Oh my Lanta, now I taste it. That's strong. The Parmesan crisp totally makes sense because it's like mascarpone cheese in there. Oh, let me get some of that bread. Oh, let me get some of this bread. Look at that. Oh, it looks actually so good. I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, that's so cool. Come to Narcoosie's, drink espresso martinis, break bread, and have yuzu gin and tonic. <laughs> Is this good for me? Yuzu, right? Yuzu black peppercorn gin and tonic, and it has Aperol in it, so that's like right up my alley. Oh my god, it has so many interesting ingredients. Lemongrass, beetroot, peppercorn syrup. This is such a like unique cocktail. Wow. It's pretty too. It it's delicious looking. It's like an Aperol spritz and you feel fancy in it. I would like to walk around on a summer day holding this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a nice experience. I love coming to visit Narcoosie's and just hanging out here and taking in the views. And the espresso martini was so good. It was unique. It was special. And like most of the time you come across espresso martinis and they're all something different. Like something like they're, they're mostly the same. But you always come across one that's just different. And that's the one. That's the one. Uh, now I think we're going to head home, see Gracie, and uh, probably finish up the video from there. Hmm. Looks like they're watching Inside Out. Presented by M&M's right on the grassy knoll at the Grand Floridian. Isn't that cozy? <laughs> the most beautiful dog on earth. Gracie girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? You laying down? Yeah. Well, what a good girl. You want to go for a walk? 
Huh? You wanna go for a walk? Come on, let's go. We'll go for a walk. Gracie can jump pretty high. Go ahead, Grace. Whoop, that's a pretty big jump. I'm gonna take Gracie to the dog park real quick and I figured I'd bring you guys along with us. Look at her in the back. She's my best friend, my co-pilot. I wish she'd sit up front, but she just likes cruising. I was taking Gracie to the dog park, but I had to stop and get gas. But you know what? The gas station over in Windermere, they don't have many gas stations. They keep on running out of gas. Like every day, the, it just keeps on running out of gas. And uh, it looks like gas is... Uh $3.49 for regular here in Florida. But let me know what the gas price is in other states, like if you guys are around. I always get interested in that. Gracie's always just chilling there. Look at you. What are you doing? What are you doing, you little stinker butt? You get extra bonus Gracie content. Why you got those eyes like that? She's staring back like, what? <laughs> Show them your long jump, Gracie. Go ahead. Go, Grace. Whoa, what a long jump that was. No privacy at all in this place. Oh, there she comes. And now we're back home and she is gone. Gracie loves these uh, little uh, Lick and Crunch cookies from the original dog bakery. I get her all the time. And uh, I think they're uh, peanut butter and vanilla. Sometimes I like to give it to her very gently. Oh, so precious. And with that, I think we are done here today. I hope you like the extra Gracie footage. Oh, and I want to show you something really cool. I always like showing my little treasures that I pick up when I'm out and about. And I got something so cool that I want to show you. Take a look at this. Isn't it so cool? This is, well, I wonder if you guys can guess. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway, but this is a Tomorrowland trash can sign. So they used to have them on the cans. And I came across it kind of at like an antique flea market. And I there's no, there's no like paperwork. There's nothing on it that, you know, says it's from Disney. But I do know that sometimes they would put these symbols, kind of like the World Showcase logo on the trash cans. And I know that a lot of people 3D print them. This is pretty solid and it even has like a little tiny metal post. And usually whenever Disney uh, like has items, they usually have a sticker on it. And I can tell that the sticker would be right here and it actually looks like that sticker. So I got this at a really good deal because I'm sure the person didn't think that it was authentic or, you know, they didn't even know what it was. And uh, I'm happy that I found it. It's such a cool, like, little piece. Now, literally, it's a trash. Like, one man's trash is another man's treasure. This is literally from a trash can. I just wanted to share it with you. It's so cool. Tomorrowland. But, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun today. I got to try the food at Tiana's, uh, like, the Tiana's Bayou Adventure food. Beignets, of course, I liked. All the news about the Genie Plus going away. Well, the Genie Plus getting renamed. Now, this isn't, like, a free service that you have to pay for it still but I don't mind paying for something that I can guarantee that I can do and now that they're saying yeah you can you know have three attractions and then you know keep on adding more like they're gonna have it staged in tiers so like the top tiers you're only gonna be able to get one of those and then two of the other tiers so that way you can't just go in there and be like all right I'll do uh, Slicky Dog Dash Tower of Terror and Rise of the Resistance you know what I mean those would be all in one tier and then you'd be able to do one of those rides and then two other rides and then when you end up using one of those rides you can just book another one so you can book another tier if it's available and uh, I'm happy about that I think it's gonna be great but let me know in the comments what you guys think about everything let me know what you think about Sleepy Hollow and their change in the waffles maybe well I'm glad Kristen agrees with me I was really uh, sad to hear that those waffle sandwiches are gone I used to rush over there like I said I used to I used to rush like coming into Magic Kingdom and like placing my order for like the uh, mobile order for the waffle sandwich to get it before breakfast ended. Like I used to do that all the time. Uh, but yeah, so anywho's, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.
I was actually thinking about taking that Tomorrowland plaque and somehow putting magnets on it and then putting it on my fridge, like a big gigantic magnet. And it'll go well with my people mover little magnet here. Got the Trader Sam sign and all of my other magnets. Honestly, does anybody else do this? And I don't even have any rhyme or rhythm. I just kind of stick them on there and they fall off a lot. Like honestly, they keep coming down and they, they keep falling off and Oh, this is a nice little wedding invitation. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's from Domino Alley's. Well, I'm glad I remembered to go.